guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is an anti-haul. Um, I was doing these Monday makeup lunches videos for you guys and then with everything that happened, I just didn't feel in the mood to talk about makeup. Today, I was like, I want to talk about makeup, new launches. I just want some sense of normalcy, you know, um, just because we've been going through this for a while now. And... I am going to do an anti-haul style because it's not Monday <laughs> and yeah basically the Monday makeup launches is kind of like an anti-haul but on a Monday so yeah I'm excited for some of the products and I'm very not excited for others I do want to share my opinions I understand that some of the products you guys might want to buy and that's totally fine these are just my opinions and products that I don't want to buy you know it's not that serious I just want to chat about makeup and also if I wasn't doing this video I still have these same opinions about these products that I don't want to buy just like the products that I do want to buy you know and just because I say uh, it's a product I want to buy doesn't mean that I'm gonna go out and buy this whole list it's a huge list that definitely wouldn't be something that I would go out and purchase right now. I have made a few orders here and there. I felt like I needed a little re retail therapy. Uh, so when those orders come in, I will share with you guys the products that I've purchased. There are a few products, I think, from this list that I have already purchased. So just throwing that out there. Let's get right into it. And we're going to start off with more of the anti-haul portion because, you know, I feel like we need to start off on the bad so we can end with the good. <laughs> First and foremost, the first product that I'm definitely skipping is the new Norvina eyeshadow palette. And this is volume four. A lot of people like these palettes. I personally just, they don't, they don't catch my attention. I'm not interested in them. Um, I've seen reviews of her previous palettes and a lot of people say that the formula is not as good as the original, uh, not the original, as the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes because I guess it's kind of like a divided brand. It's not necessarily Norvina, it's its own brand, which I'm still a bit confused about that sometimes. Because this palette literally comes in the box and it says Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I just, it's kind of like a, a conjunction brand. Um, but yeah, I just am not interested in this palette. Honestly, it has pretty colors. It reminds me a lot of the uh, last two Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. Um, so if you have those, maybe this is not a palette you need. But if, I mean, if you want it, by all means, this is something new <laughs> from the Norvina collection, line, brand, whatever it is. Now, there's two new uh, Hourglass products, and one I am interested in and one I'm not. This one is the Veil Eyeshadow Primer, or Eye Primer. I personally don't use eye primers. That's the only reason why I wouldn't buy this. And I also have a feeling that it's up there in price, so I don't feel like I need a super high-end, bougie primer when I use whatever concealer I'm wearing on uh, my under eyes to prime my lid not necessarily to prime but I just blend my concealer and whatever's left on my sponge I just dab my eyelid and then I just set my my whole face with setting powder along with my uh, lids and that's literally all I do I don't use any primer if I want to make colors pop I use my P. Louise base but for me that isn't necessarily a primer so I'm skipping this <laughs> all that to say this next from Kosas Cosmetics or Kosas, this brand. Uh, I've never tried anything from them. I know they are available at Sephora and I had been debating when I was going to place my Sephora order if I should get the light bronzer because I've been looking for a new one. I want something that's a little more cool tone uh, because some, some bronzers that I have, actually the majority, pull a little bit too warm and orange sometimes. And I had read and seen that a lot of people like this was going to be the perfect bronzer and it wasn't going to be too orangey. I waited to read reviews and it wasn't good reviews. So I just passed on it. But, you know, if you're interested or if you've tried this bronzer, let me know if you liked it. If you tried the light one because that was the one I was going for. Next we have from Charlotte Tilbury. This one was a bit of a shocker for me. It's 
their Magic Lip Oil, and it's a crystal elixir. Now, this thing is expensive for the lips, for a lip balm, for a lip oil. In my opinion, it's expensive. I think it's like $40 or $45, somewhere around those lines in the $40 range, and that's just too much. I love the Laneige Sleeping Mask. It helps my lips amazingly. The Laneige Lip Balms, um, there's a few from the drugstore that are really, really good that I would personally purchase over this because I just don't feel like I need something that expensive for my lips when I have other things that are a little more reasonable in price and that probably do the same thing as this oil. <laughs> Next we have from Dior. It's the time that we're going to start seeing all the foundations for summer that give you a glow, that are lightweight, that are sweat proof. And that's exactly what this foundation is. This is from their summer collection and this is a forever summer skin. It's a lightweight formula and it gives a natural glow finish uh, to your skin, 24 hour wear. It's a healthy glow, fresh tint. Um, heat proof and sweat proof. The only thing I like about this it says is that it's 24 hours 24 hour wear but who is wearing their makeup for 24 hours especially in the summer? I know I'm not um, And the heat and sweat proof other than that it's a foundation that definitely I don't feel like it'll work for my skin But if you have dry skin, you know, this is a good foundation for you. I am more I'm definitely like fully oily skin in the summer, spring, and fall and winter, I'm more of combination because I get like this dry patch area around my lips uh, and my nose area. So <laughs> I would say my skin switches off from, you know, season to season. So this is definitely something new, high end for you guys that like Dior or are interested in this. Here it is. Next we have from Natasha Denona, this palette. It's cute. It's a cute palette. I just want to remind you guys that these are tiny, like mini palettes, tiny. I feel like this is a little bit bigger, like the this this size is a little bit bigger than the Natasha Denona ones. The eyeshadow scores I feel like are a little bit smaller in their palettes. Obviously, it's a little bit longer because it has five. It's missing one, but just for size reference, I wanted to show you guys this so you guys can get an idea of the size. And this is a mascara compared to the little e.l.f. palettes. These are mini. These are bite size. They literally promoted them as bite size eyeshadows. So they definitely, I mean, these are promoted as mini palettes, but I feel like people don't understand how small they are. I've seen them in stores and I've held them in they're tiny they are $25 so maybe if you want to try out her formula this that's the route to go instead of spending you know for a full 100 and something eyeshadow palette try it like this see if you like the formula I would probably do it but definitely with a different color story than this this is just it's not my vibe next we have from a lot of brands they're going to a skincare department shampoo body care, body wash, body cleanser type of deal. We have a lot of makeup brands doing that. And it's, for some of the brands I say I can understand. For others, it's just weird to me. Like we have Kylie Skin right here. Definitely something I'm skipping. It's their coconut body scrub, body lotion, and a loofah. I don't know about you guys, but this is just not something that I would want to buy from them from her line. I haven't even tried her makeup like now. I tried it back when it first came out. Didn't like the liquid lipsticks and I never gave them another shot just because I had such a bad experience with those liquid lipsticks. But I would want to try her her makeup line first before getting this stuff. Um, this is definitely something I would be skipping. And then we have from um, Drunk Elephant, I was going to say Dark Elephant, Drunk Elephant, we have body lotion, scented formula um, without any unwanted greasiness, $20 for the lotion, $20 for the Sweet Pity deodorant cream, I've never heard of that, $16, the body cleanser, $20, I buy my body care toiletry stuff at Target or Walmart and the most I think I've spent for a body wash is like eight nine dollars this I would really have to think about it and really have to see a difference in my skin on my body to be like wow this is definitely worth it um but in case you guys are interested 
that's that. And then another um, thing that I've seen brands go towards and start dabbling in is shampoo. And this is from skincare brands. Uh, Drunk Elephant did it as well. And this is from Sunday Riley. Now this I am excited for. Probably because they make my absolute favorite moisturizer that I already ordered because I miss it so much. This is expensive though, $48 and this is a clean rinse and it's a shampoo. Now what this says is that it's going to rinse off and clarify your scalp uh, from all the product buildup, excess oil, dead skin, uh, pollution, and it's going to help have a cleaner, healthier looking scalp and refreshed hair. I mean, I'm a little sold right there <laughs> with all of that. Um, it has a lot of ingredients that are, you know, really, really good that, you know, are going to help with all of that. So I kind of do like, I, I am interested. I would like to see the size of the bottle because if you're giving me a size that looks like uh, skincare mm -mm, for $48 I don't think so but if it's a decent sized bottle a good amount of product compared to a shampoo a regular shampoo from the drugstore Tresemme Garnier all of that a size like that then I think you know okay it'll be worth it and then you would have to definitely try it and see how if it really changes your skin your hair if you see a difference you know but it is a product I, I would be interested in. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you guys would be interested in or you just rather stay with your like $9, $10 shampoo like, like me <laughs> uh, from Garnier or whatever brand you use. Laura Mercier, they have a skincare line collection. Um, I would want to try the moisturizer. They do make really good products for, you know, your face makeup wise. It's definitely a brand that I would trust to have good skincare products. So yeah, this is some of the products I will be launching. The one I, I was, uh, uh, you know, interested in is the Perfect Cream Multitasking Moisturizer. Like the packaging, you know, it's very, it's clean, it's nice. I like it. Now, something else that I wouldn't buy, but I did actually like the colors and all of that, is from Dominique Cosmetics. They launched uh, cream highlighters. This is their skin gloss. Uh, they're really pretty. Um, I personally don't use the styler product, which is why I wouldn't purchase it, but it's definitely something that I would like to share with you guys in case you guys like these products. They do retail for $25, which I feel is actually a good price compared to other uh, products. And you can get the bundle for 80 bucks, all four shades. And I do like that each shade, uh, I feel like it's for a specific color family or you know, you, you could use whichever one you want, obviously. But I like that if you look at these colors, I feel like there's a range for everyone. So I like that. Even Now though I'm going to move into a few products that I would like to purchase that are super cute. Starting off with this Beauty Bakery uh, brush set, it's so cute i like the detail on the ends of the brushes like a spatula you know a spoon a whisk so so cute this is definitely something that i would want to pick up i do also like the shape of the brushes so i just thought this was such a cute set and this is their bakeware set five piece eye brush kit super super cute then we have from CoverGirl, they have new setting sprays and this is their prep and set water mist um they retail for $9.99 and they have a rose, a cucumber, and a citrus scent. I would definitely pick up the cucumber. I own the Wet n Wild one and I really, really like the scent of it. It's very refreshing, so I would go more towards cucumber because I just like the scent of it. Uh, rose products tend to irritate my skin. I don't know why, uh, so I would definitely not get that one, but the cucumber is definitely on my to-buy list. Next, from Real Techniques, which is brand of brushes that I love and I have always recommended to you guys. They're super affordable. They last really long and they're really good quality. They have a new collection which is called Cashmere Dreams and I'm really interested in the eye set and the br the sponges. They have this complexion sponge duo for $9.99. The color's so, so pretty. It's like a light lavender and a light pink shade. Um, one says it's for the foundation for 
liquid products and the other one is for powder i have their powder the other one and i really really like it so that's definitely a set i would want to pick up and the eye set i really really like this one when i placed my order at ulta this one was sold out so i didn't get to pick it up but it's a really nice set if it comes back in stock it's definitely one that i want to pick up this one as well i like the shape of the brushes there's a couple different ones that i don't have in my collection from real techniques so i'm interested in that and the eye kit is $19.99 and then the other brushes are sold individually the face brushes next from farsali we have this product which is their quench moisture Moisture, moisture moisture replenishing serum i have their liquid glass which is a, a serum as well but that one's more for uh to apply it before your makeup and i that's how i apply it i really really like it i got it in my boxy charm and actually i have it right here i'm like really into it i really really like it it's uh, radiance make skin serum and this one it says it's going to um, replenish moisture in the skin they're using a unique complex of low high molecular weight hyaluronic acid enriched with replenishing pro vitamin b5 the skin's elasticity appears improved as well as feeling and looking softer so that sold it does retail for $24 which is surprising to me because Farsali products aren't really affordable $24 for a serum for me that sounds like a drugstore pricing because drugstore skincare is at that price just let me tell you guys um but this is definitely something I would like to try and then another serum <laughs> this is from the brand Laneige I really like their skincare products their sleeping mask I actually have it right here is one of my favorites I recommend it so so much this is a water sleeping mask and it's so so good this is their new glowy face serum I want to try it <laughs> It retails for $32. See, this is where I say the price for in the Farsali one is a little different. And Farsali products are up there in price. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for this one as well. It's, uh, it says it's to use a final step in your skincare routine. Apply two to three drops to your face. Pat until absorbed. And you can use it as a makeup primer as well. So this kind of sounds to me uh, like this. The Farsali liquid glass. So I would definitely now i'm even more sold on wanting to try this it just it looks super cute the packaging and just sounds like something <laughs> right up my own next we have from the brand fenty beauty now this is just something i want to share it's not necessarily like super new this is like a little duo lip gloss uh gloss balm from the brand fenty beauty that i just said uh they have this I think this is such an awesome deal because um, Fenty glosses are $18 individually. You get two glosses in this little duo set at Sephora for $29. Like that's the little deal they have going on. And that's how it comes packaged in a little duo. It's the color, uh, Glo which was the color? Fenty Glow, which is their original universal gloss. The first one that came out and they have a new color in this duo, which is called Sweet Mouth. I didn't pick up this little duo because I picked up the clear gloss and I still have some of my Fenty Glow shade. Uh, so when I finish it, this is definitely a, a set that I would want to pick up. It's also a great gift uh, because, you know, you get to give out a gloss that two shades, two different shades that I think are so, so pretty. And the formula of these glosses is amazing. It's one of my favorite high end. I think this is high end in my opinion, glosses or, you know, Sephora and <laughs> glosses that I really, really like. Now, this skincare product, I actually already purchased it. I'm waiting to get it in the mail. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. So excited. Anything that will help my pores become, you know, smaller, tighter, less visible. I am all about it. <laughs> I don't care what it is. I will try it. I hate my ginormous pores. And there's really nothing I can do for them to go away other than really take care of my skin and, you know, use pore filling primers. <laughs> That's all I can do. This product is right up my alley, which is why I bought it because I was so excited. Besides the point that I love Glow Recipe products, they are some of my favorites as well. Um, so I'm excited for this. This is from their watermelon collection. 
And lastly, we have from Summer Fridays, this new uh, butter balm. I would be more <laughs> into trying this one. It is up there in price, but it just, it doesn't compare to the Charlotte Tilbury. I get her brand is more luxury and high end, but for a lip oil, I don't know, it just seems too much for me. I've seen uh, Nicole Guerrero talk about the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. It's one that's on my list to buy that I really want to try. And then this product, I've seen her use it and talk about it recently. Uh, so it's definitely a product on my list as well. This retails for $22 and it says it's a blend of vegan waxes, will soften and boost shine all day with uh, a smooth no greasy texture, natural vanilla flavor, subtle hint of vanilla. So definitely interested in this. It just sounds like a good product for me. <laughs> I'm really into glossy, glowy lips lately. Anything that's going to make my lips, you know, just nice and plump, supple, moisturized, not crusty, dusty, because nobody wants that. Um, I'm all about it. So I'm excited for that. But that's basically it for this anti-haul. Let me know. Uh, what products you're excited for, what products you don't really care for from this list, uh, or if you know you just don't care about any, that's okay. <laughs> I just wanted to sit down and talk about makeup. I miss doing this style of video because it's some of my favorites, just chit-chatting about makeup. And yeah, thank you guys so much for all your support, for sticking by with me uh, throughout this time, even though I haven't really been consistent. It's just everything going on. I don't feel like I have a lot of motivation sometimes, so the times that I do, here I am. I have a video for you guys. I hope you guys can understand that. And yeah, just thank you so much for all your support. And like always, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.